Uh, thanks for tuning in to Crushing TV. And I just wanted to uh, talk today a little about Facebook removing the pages from uh, the Patriot Prayer Group just days after a member was slain by Antifa. And right now we have Facebook and Google uh, trying to manipulate public opinion. And they're going off the whole George Orwell theme that people will believe whatever the media tells them to believe. So they're trying to manipulate what you see and what you don't see. And if you don't do anything about it, you become part of the problem. Whether that means boycotting things, uh, changing your behavior. But right now, uh, we have no American media station reporting on this. CNN's not reporting on it. Fox is not reporting on it. I didn't see the others uh, doing so either. The only place I could even find this mentioned, which surprised me, because Epic Times is usually pretty good, but even they didn't pick up on this yet. But RT, which is like the Russian version of CNN, uh, they happen to be reporting on this, that the Facebook has removed the Patriot prayer pages, which I'll show you in just a moment is true. Don't disbelieve them just because it's the Russian version of CNN. This is an American outlet. They're based down in uh, Florida and also in New York. Um, if you don't know, there was an Antifa guy that just flat out murdered a man at a Trump rally tried to defend himself by claiming that he was trying to protect his buddy that was black and he was trying to stop him from getting killed but you can go out there and find the video the guy just rolled up in a car and shot him and they were not the people that he shot were not doing anything to anybody else so he wasn't defending anyone but Facebook claiming that they're trying to protect uh, society and people from disinformation. You can read here, they've removed a number of pages relating to the right-wing uh, Patriot Prayer Movement, uh, who is a group that started in about 2016 in Portland to counter Antifa. And there have been quite a few fist fights and whatnot between them there. Um, a Facebook spokesman uh, told Reuters that about the removal of the pages Friday. So this is coming directly from Facebook, them saying that they did this, and that they pulled the pages as part of an ongoing effort to remove violent social militias from our platform. Well, if they're trying to remove violent social militias, why the hell haven't they removed Antifa? I'm going to show you in just a moment where they wiped out every single page for Patriot Prayer, who is a group that is doing nothing but supporting the Constitution, the Second Amendment, and trying to counter these communist, fascist insurgents, Antifa, that are claiming they're fighting anti-fascists, but they are in fact fascists themselves. Patriot Prayer is not violent. I mean, the prayer right in their name. They're, they're a God-based group that also believes in America and, you know, uh, standing up for the original values of our country. That's all they do. And, uh, yeah, they have had brawls in the streets with Antifa, but that's self-defense when those little punks are trying to attack them. Um... And then one of the Antifa guys shot and killed him. And then Facebook's <laughs> uh, response to prevent you from seeing anything other than what they want you to see is to totally eliminate and ban Patriot Prayer from Facebook, which, of course, is going to translate to Twitter and Google and YouTube and everything else because you have a very small group that controls all these things. Uh, Patriot Prayer leader Joey Gibson has said that he was friends with the victim. Uh, he was upset on Facebook and was angry that they were targeting his organization and they even took out his own personal page on top of it. 
uh, he's quoted as saying that Antifa groups murdered my friend while he was walking home and instead of the multi-billion dollar company banning Portland Antifa pages, they banned Patriot Prayer. And I'm going to show you in just a minute, Antifa is still up there. They're burning down multiple cities in the United States. Facebook says we're out to stop violent groups and do they ban the people that are burning down the goddamn cities? No. They ban the group that is trying to stand up against them. What in the hell is going on with these tech companies? Uh, you know, people can still sign up with Patriot Prayer USA at PatriotPrayerUSA.com for future events. Um, I don't say that to promote them. I know of them, but I have not deeply researched them. So, you know, if you have any inkling to look into them at all, make sure that you do your research and that your views align. Um, now, Facebook is claiming that they updated their policies last month, banning any group that poses significant risk to public safety. Ironically, they still allow pedophilia groups on Facebook. These people claiming that pedophilia is a, uh, a sexual orientation. Those groups are still up. Apparently, Facebook doesn't think they're a sexual risk. Maybe that's because Zuckerberg's been on Epstein's plane. Uh, Antifa's pages are still up. And uh, Facebook is claiming it removed over 980 groups, 520 pages, and 160 ads, uh, some of whom may identify as Antifa, they're claiming. And then they go on to talk about some other stuff and that they're trying to fight disruption to the upcoming election. But I would argue that, in fact, Facebook is part of the disruption. So I'm going to do the search here live so that you can see what comes up. Put in Patriot Prayer and no Patriot Prayer group comes up. You got the New England Patriots, a couple individuals, a prayer page, a Patriot page, Tea Party, um, and a couple individual pages here. But obviously no Patriot Prayer and there's only about 10, 12 pages there. So now, put in Antifa, and you are going to be frickin' stunned. <laughs> now, a couple of these pages, if you read the titles, uh, they are anti-Antifa groups, uh, such as the very top one there, uh, Americans Against Antifa. But there are about 90 pages here. I counted them earlier. And it just goes on and on. These are all Antifa groups in various areas. Uh, Nebraska, Houston, Sacramento, International, India. Here's uh, one against Antifa, Citizens Antifa, Texas Antifa. <laughs> I'd like to see them try it here. Antifa United, Nebraska, Central, you know, so, so here's Facebook, New York Antifa, uh, another Texas, uh, you know, so here you can obviously see Antifa is alive and well on Facebook. So, while they wiped out Patriot Prayer, who doesn't have a single damn page now, and they're only deal was that they defended themselves and had somebody murdered by these jerks that Facebook is allowing. I would like an explanation from Mark Zuckerberg. How do you allow the murderers and the looters and the rioters and the people that are responsible for mass destruction in the United States causing anarchy to have pages on here, not recognize the violence that they've done, over 90 people have lost their lives because of those little jerks, and yet you wipe out the pages of a group 
like Patriot Prayer that is doing nothing more than standing up for the Constitution of the U.S. and everybody's rights and trying to defend innocent people from communists. Zuckerberg needs to go before Congress. They need to be regulated. They are the modern day town square. And nothing is being done about it. And they are trying to manipulate your opinion in the public. And all the while claiming that they're against violence. But yet, as you can see, they're promoting it. They're letting them run rampant. So, I, I don't know, talk, talk to your congressman. Uh, you know, do what you can in your neighborhoods, be, be aware of what is going on, and don't swallow the BS manipulation that is coming out of Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Google. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to share, uh, subscribe, pass information on to your friends, because... These big tech companies are actively trying to manipulate uh, the outcome of the election. You yeah, have a great day.